coming to the launch party from Goda Business Magazine. I'm Michelle Mduna. I'm going to be your MC for the evening. Right now, we're going to ask Shamin Sugar to give us the opening prayer. Um, thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for this time. And thank you for everyone who came. Please bless them when they go. Amen. What Up Business Magazine was started by a young entrepreneur, that being Michael Maposa in 2009. I'm sure, like every one of us, he wanted to make sure that his business was a success. And now he has brought this idea to Zimbabwe. Not only is this business based in Zimbabwe, but it is also based in the UK. It is in newsprint and it is online. So as even as we speak, we have footage on Facebook, we have footage on the website, and our counterparts in the UK are watching as well. You've got a story to tell to the future generation of preneur, the people I'm looking at here who can even say something to somebody tonight. Okay, I'm gonna say, Timber, sorry, would you share something? You're in my name. You are also owner of Talk City. There's something that you can share with future guys to just say, make this for I'm the wrong guy. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Uh, I represent Talk City and uh, I belong to an organization called uh, Cobrick. We mine coal in Wange. We've been mining for the past uh, four to five years. Toxic is a new, is a, what would you call Toxic? <laughs> uh, internet, up market, up vibe. Um, I represent a, uh, a non-profit organization called I Green Africa. Uh, we're the co-creators of the Green Business Endeavor, uh, which is happening next week uh, from the um, 12th to the 13th of uh, April at the HICC. Uh, we're going to progress by uh, speakers from all over, from the business side, from policy makers, from, you know, you name it. Um, the, we're going to have a speaker from South Africa, from IMM, the Institute of Marketing. Uh, we're going to have a speaker from um, the ministry, different ministries, the Ministry of Environment, uh, the Ministry of Economic Planning, uh, the Ministry of uh, Power and Energy Development, uh, the Ministry of Tourism, and we're going to be having, you know, uh, different entrepreneurs and, and people who have established themselves in the, um, in the industry. Basically, the whole idea is that, you know, um, climate change has been uh, taboo, or should I say, it has been foreign language for a long time in Africa. So we're just coming through and saying, okay, uh, there are real issues that are affecting everybody in, 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 in Africa at the same time. And uh, these are things that have to be exposed. Uh, we have the owner of uh, uh, Mr. Vera with us here. We would think maybe um, him and younger people could meet and bring a product that could save lives. I want to hear about a future product that should come to Zimbabweans, to every Zimbabwean. Mr. Vera. This, this um, talk now about what was you said about this magazine, I'm, I'm really glad this magazine is here because it is something that young people do need. Um, in the past, people, young people have always been told, look, you've got to shut up. You've got to be seen but not heard. And so all the young people always sit in the background. They don't do anything. They can see what is wrong, but they can't do anything because they're not meant to be heard. They, so sometimes they're led by people who have really got old-fashioned ideas and sometimes take the wrong way or take the long way around to do something which could have been done sooner. We all did that with our fathers. They always seem so old-fashioned, you know. They, they, no idea what's going on, they no idea how things tick. Uh, and they probably did that to their fathers as well. And our children are going to have the same problem as well, because they are going to be ahead of their children. They're going to be behind their children. Now, if you can harness all this energy that is floating around, that is the young people, the old people, the young people by themselves, and your network, we can do wonders. This is a wonderful country. Uh, and I think it's one of the best countries in the world. Not, not the one of the, this is the best country in the world. I've been everywhere, believe me. I've been uh, around the world where we are 12 hours behind. When it's 12 a.m. there, it's 12 midnight here. And I've been there and I've seen everything. I've still got to see a country that is better than here. And now, since the Belgium, we have a lot of Zimbabweans going outside the country, going down to learn, 
school, university, and a lot of them are stuck out there in, in, in the world that is going through recession. You know, if you go to the UK, there are no jobs. You can't even get a job to wipe a Mrs. Brown. You can't. Because there is recession there. And when there is recession in some of these countries, they take it out on the foreigners. They think they are responsible for the, re for the recession. And there are a lot of talented young people there who are doing nothing. They are so talented, they are so educated, but they are terrified to come back here because they think there is nothing for them here. There is nothing for them in the UK, there is nothing for them here, there is nothing for them in America. So where is anything at all? I'm telling you, it's here. It's here in Zimbabwe. This is the end of opportunity. Now we're going to have, we're going to welcome to the platform the Ngoda Business Magazine.